Uh, now, whether you look back fondly on the first date or cringe with the memory, <laughs> one couple will have no trouble remembering this. For their first date, Chloe and Zach went on a remote camping trip with friends, but after Zach collapsed from severe chest pains, the date ended with Chloe saving his life by giving him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. As you can see, Chloe and Zach are with <laughs> us now. It's an extraordinary story, uh, this Chloe. So, um, explain what happened from your perspective and, and how it came about that you discovered Zach on the floor. Well, uh, he was gone for quite some time, about ten minutes, and I didn't really think much of it, so... Obviously, I went out to look for him, but I wasn't expecting anything. And if it wasn't for his flashlight on his face lying upwards, I wouldn't have found him. So it was it quite was... dark when you'd gone for a walk? Yeah. And you're using your torch yeah, on your phone as a... I'd put a torch on and, and I stood mm. up and, and that was it. And you <laughs> were on your own on this walk, yeah. even though it was, a, it was your first date together. Mm. You'd gone off to stretch legs. Yeah. Do you know what happened to you? Um, no, not really. I mean, I just, I just sat down on the bench and, you know, I got back up and had a really severe chest pain. And, uh, and that was it, you know, I just, I just collapsed. And you collapsed. Clo Clea Chloe, sorry, <laughs> Chloe comes out to find you. Chloe, what on it? You must have panicked when you saw yeah, him lying I there. Did. I did. I didn't really know how to react. Just as soon as I saw him, I sort of went in the zone and I knew that I needed to help him somehow. Mm. So, so you found a paramedic? Yeah. And then they started talking you through CPR? Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it was awful. I didn't even know where to put my hands. I didn't know how to place my hands there. Sure, of course. So it was just, you know, and I was just purely listening to the instructions on the phone. And then it went from the CPR to then you had to sort of do the uh, kiss of life as well. Yeah. And what yeah. were you thinking when you're doing that? You're thinking, this is no first date. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I just knew that I needed to do it, so, yeah. And, and it clearly was the most important kiss yeah, <laughs> of your yeah, relationship. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's like, what an extraordinary moment and what an amazing woman. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, <laughs> if it wasn't for Chloe, I wouldn't be here now. It's, she's, it's just amazing. That is a story to tell about your first date, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine that it's brought you quite close together as definitely, well. Definitely, yeah. Because it wasn't that long ago. How do your family feel about Chloe? Oh, you know, they're so grateful and they're obviously they love to pieces and it was just emotional really. I was laying in the hospital bed and Chloe was, Chloe was there with me um, every step of the way and then the mum came in and my brother and sister actually work at Grantham Hospital as well and my sister came around the corner and said, oh, what are you doing here and that? And then my mum and dad came round and I just thought, just amazing, though. I yeah. could, if it wasn't for Claire, I wouldn't be here now. So you said, would you like to meet my new girlfriend? She's just saved my life. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> quite <laughs> an introduction. Thank you so much for coming lovely. and sharing your story. It's lovely to meet you both. Thank you yeah. very much. Best of luck with the future as well. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.